you see uh, a sportsman's dinner is full of guys and uh, you know you can steam in and go mental um, but when you see women there there's a certain amount of decorum you have to hold back you have to uh, temper some of your stories so um, but uh, I've had a word with the seven tars who are here <laughs> They said no, steam right in, it's okay. <laughs> so I'm especially looking forward to uh, Des's uh, gag about masturbating to his wife's sister. So, <laughs> if that hasn't set the tone, and there's a woman just holding her breast here. God, I wish Ruffy was with me now, but uh, I want to set him off. So that kind of a sets the tone. <laughs> for the evening. Okay, we're going to pray now for the next couple of minutes uh, after that opening from me. Um, what we've got in line for you is two fantastic speakers uh, for the money you're paying. Um, <laughs> on the left hand side here, Des McKeown um, is uh, a fantastic artist and a speaker, former footballer as well with uh, Stenhouse Muir, part of this will start about in Celtic. He's going to come up uh, and chat away to you as well. Des um, runs a lot of marathons for charity as well. Um, goes on a cycle as well uh, for charity. He earns thousands for charity cycling and running. Um, basically a boring bastard. <laughs> Who goes on bikes tomorrow, 100 miles, and one arm press-ups with his wife. The two of them are the dullest fucks you've ever seen. <laughs> On the other hand, Peter does no running whatsoever and has never been on a bike since he passed his proficiency test just before Hitler invaded Poland. So, and I have to tell you, Peter Brown is honestly one of the top speakers uh, in this street. So you're certainly going to enjoy his chat as well. It's absolutely sensational. It's great to be here. Throughout the night, we're going to try and raise as much money as we possibly can for Corey's release. Well, that's my job tonight, to try uh, and make you bid some astronomical sums for some wonderful auction items we have. We do have a raffle as well, and I kid you not, I have a bag down here which has a very special item in it. I'll just show you at the moment, just to deceive you on it, but here is the bag. So, uh, some of the girls getting excited, they're thinking, wow, the new rampant rabbit seven is out. <laughs> um, that is, uh, there's a girl there saying, no, no, it's only the sex of seven is not out yet. Um, so, <laughs> so, this could be my last Courier's Village gig, to be honest with you. Um, we've got that a little later on, I'll explain that to you. Um, also, on your table, You've got an envelope, all you've got to do is put your name on it, and I think there might be a little bit of gift aid there that you can tick. Stick £20 in the envelope, the raffle prizes are absolutely sensational. Stick it in there, uh, and we'll come round and collect them, and then we'll announce the raffle a little later on. We've got the auction coming up, but also, just before uh, you get your meal, under one of the side plates, there's a little sticker. And it, wow, if you check under your side plates, you'll see there's nothing there. It's under the cup. Under one of your cups is a special sticker. If anybody's got that special sticker, okay, people making noises with their cups just to let us know they're all checking. Has anyone got a special sticker under their cup? So, no one, and that's an indication of the type of things that Corey is giving to you. Fuck all. There's no sticker. There's no sticker whatsoever. Forget about it. You're a loser. Oh, then it's there. Fantastic. That is sensational. And he's absolutely delighted. Well done to that gentleman. The envelope there, he wins that girl for two nights. <laughs> She has never dropped into the Vauxhall conference suite, but she will do if she sees what she's won there. So, anyway, uh, what was the prize? I think it was a huge amount of cash, um, which will transform your life, sir. So, congratulations to you. Look at that, your mates all wanting to chat to you now because you're a prize winner. Um, okay, later on we'll have the option as well, um, but all I can say to you is, Corey's Village is absolutely delighted 
uh, that you've come here to support this event. I think it might be the second one uh, that the, the Quarriers Village Charity has organised. Hopefully there will be many more, but it's down to you guys to spread the word. Thank you for coming along and I'll be back with you later on. Thank you.